Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss about absolute potential energy and it is defined as the work done on a body when it is going from uh, earth's surface to the uh, infinite point. This, is, this point is known as earth. So uh, when the body displaces from the center of the earth or the surface of the earth to the infinite point, the work done on a body is known as absolute potential energy. So we know that the potential energy, the formula of potential energy is equal to mgh. This potential energy uh, is equal to mgh uh, is applied or it is true when the value of g is constant, gravitational constant. Uh, remains same. If this uh, formula holds true when the body is near to the center of the earth or the surface of the earth. But this potential energy, uh, you can say that this potential energy is uh, inversely proportional to the scale of the distance between the object and the final point. So this formula holds when g value of g is not constant, variable. So we can say that or we can justify that um, uh, by using this definition or absolute potential energy this formula is e potential energy is equal to mgh it cannot be who cannot hold true and the formula of potential energy with respect to uh, scale of the distance cannot hold true for this uh, in order to solve this problem we need to justify or we need to uh, explain uh, in the form of these intervals. We will divide all the uh, term or all the uh, uh, all the travel in one in small distance. You can say that for equal distance from the center of the earth to one is R1. Uh, from center of the uh, earth to point two is known as R2 and so on up to Rn. Uh, so for example from the center of the earth to the point 1 is known as R1 and uh, from the center of the earth to the point 2 is known as R2. So we need to find the difference. The difference between two points is known as delta R is equal to R2 minus R1 because R2 is large quantity and R1 is a small quantity. So the purpose of uh, this distribution or splitting into small interval is that because at the center of this point or center of this region the gravitational constant or gravitational force remains same. In order to do this we need to find the center of this, this duration this is known as R. R is equal to R1 plus R2 over 2 this is also known as uh, central point. So in order to calculate the potential energy uh, from this point we need to find out the value of R's and R scale because if we will put this value in this relationship and finally we will find some uh, some solution for this. Furthermore we need to calculate the value of R scale and we will put in this term and in order to find the force or gravitational force we will find some relationship between uh, gravitational force and absolute potential energy. So we will find uh, the value of R2 from this expression then we will say that R2 is equal to delta R plus R1 and if we put this value of R2 in this relation we will find R is equal to R1 plus R2 over 2. So in this term R2 we will replace this term and finally we, we will have find an R1 plus delta R plus R1 over 2. So uh, from the basic mathematics you see that this R1 and this R1 become R1. 2 R1 plus delta R over 2 and if we separate this term if we separate this term you will find some solution. Uh, 2 R1 over 2 plus delta R over 2 and it will cancel out the final term will be R1 plus delta R over 2. So from this expression we see that uh, force is universally proportional to scale of the distance between object and earth. So uh, we need to find the scale of R 
uh, we will take square on both sides r whole square is equal to r1 plus delta r over 2 whole square if we open this square it will become r1 square plus delta r square over 4 plus 2 r1 and delta r over 2 second term and first term 2 r1 delta r over 2 and it will cancel out the final term will be r1 square plus delta r square over 4 plus r1 delta r so as you can see that delta r is very very small so the square of very small term become very small so it can be neglected and it, it is almost equal to 0 the final term will be r square is equal to r1 square plus r1 delta r so in the previous review we see that the value of delta r is equal to the difference between two uh, distances r2 minus r1 so we will put this uh, value or relation in this term the final term will be r1 square plus r1 into r2 minus r1 so if we multiply this r1 or simplify this term the final term will be r1 square plus r1 r2 minus r1 square so from the uh, from the basic mathematics you can see that this is a positive term of r1 square this is negative term of r1 square and it, it can be cancelled out the final term will be r square is equal to r1 into r2 so from the uh, uh, force equation of uh, due to gravity we can see that we can we can put the value of r square as r1 and r2 in this term so the final term will be uh, f is equal to g m m over r1 into r2 g m m over r1 into r2 this g is a gravitational constant due to gravity and this mass is a mass of earth and small m is a mass of object so uh, from this expression we see that uh, the relationship or the formula of work done w is equal to f dot delta r in this case the distance is delta r so if we open this from this term we can see that theta is equal to 180 degree uh, the question is that why 180 degree is the theta between force and displacement and we can see that when object is moving upward but gravity is applying in the downward direction the object is having mass m is moving upward but gravity gravitational pull is downward their uh, angle between them is 180 degree because these are anti parallel with each other so and the theta will be uh, 180 degree so if we open this f delta r into cos of theta f delta r cos of 180 degree and the co uh, you know that cos 180 degree is minus 1 so it will be f delta r into minus 1 or minus f delta r so from this expression we see that when we put the value of f here f is equal to g m m over r1 into r2 the final term will be w work done is equal to the value of f minus the value of f multiplied by delta r the value of f is g m m over r1 into r2 so uh, from the previous expression you know that value of delta r is equal to r2 minus r1 because it is a difference between two uh, small distances so if we put this value in the final expression we can get the final expression of the absolute potential energy w is equal to minus g m m over r1 into r2 into r2 minus r1 because this is replaced by delta r if we simplify this term the final term will be uh, minus g m m uh, into r2 minus r1 over r1 into r2 
if we simplify this the final term will be minus g m m o into r2 over r1 r2 minus r1 over r1 into r2 this is the simple mathematics so if we divide this r2 will be can cancel out by r2 and r1 will be cancelled out by r1 the final term but the final formula for the absolute potential energy which is known as u is equal to minus g m m into 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 this potential energy or this work done this work done is from point 0.1 to point 0.2 similarly if we find out the work done from point 0.2 to point 0.3 work done from point 0.2 to point 0.3 is equal to minus g m m into 1 over r2 minus 1 over r3 and so on if we find if we want to find out the work done from n minus 1 to point n the work total work done will be minus g m m over into 1 over r n minus 1 minus 1 over r n so if the our question is that this is a work done from point 1 to point 2 this is a work done from point 2 to point 3 this is a work done from point n minus 1 to point n the our uh, purpose of this expression or this derivation is that we need to find out the total work done from uh, point 1 to infinite point or n point so the total work done is equal to is equal to work done from 1 to 2 plus work done from 2 to 3 plus work done from 3 to 4 and so on uh, work done from n minus 1 to work done from n so the total work done will be minus g m m into this term will be uh, common in all the terms so we will put this 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 and plus 1 over r2 minus 1 over r3 uh, plus and so on 1 over rn minus 1 plus sorry minus 1 over rn so as you see that this minus term will be cancelled out by this plus term so the final term will be rn so uh, finally total work is equal to minus g m m into 1 over r1 minus 1 over r n r n uh, in, in the final expression you see that the work done from point 1 to point n is known as the total work done uh, when the body is going to be infinity or body is placed at the point of infinite so the total energy can be calculated um, uh, when r n is equal to infinite r n is equal to infinite because body has uh, gone to infinite point if we put this value w total is equal to minus g m m into 1 over r 1 minus 1 over infinite if we put the value of infinite here so 1 over infinite is equal to 0 or 1 over 0 is equal to infinite this is the basic mathematics so if we put this value and it will become 0 expression the final term will be minus g m m into 1 over r 1 minus 0 so the total work done or total absolute potential energy will be the formula the expression for potential energy is equal to u is equal to minus g m m over r so this r1 can be replaced by r so this is a total or uh, uh, final expression for the gravitational potential energy uh, so or absolute potential energy this negative sign shows that the body is moving upward but gravitational pull is downward for example this is earth body is moving upward uh, away from the surface of the earth and going to the infinite point and the gravitational pull is going to uh, is pull is downward that is why these are anti parallel with each other and negative sign shows that these are anti parallel with each other so hi uh, guys 
up till now we have finished about the absolute potential energy if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box uh, and i have i, I also have a uh, online uh, academy you can contact me there i will put my contact information there yeah, uh, and finally if you like my video you can subscribe my channel for more videos i will update and if you have any suggestion i will give you more solution and more updates thank you so much bye bye